What's going on, little kitty? You look uncomfortable. Oh, no, no. Holding your fart can be very dangerous. That's the stinky situation we'll explore by answering an awkward question. What if you hold in all your farts? Zoom in. So, why do we fart? Well, we've already covered this topic in one of our previous videos. So, I suggest you take a look there for a detailed explanation. But, here's a quick recap. A fart is an intestinal gas that we pass almost 10 to 20 times a day to be more specific. A tiny proportion of it comes from swallowing air while we are sleeping, while some enter our bodies while eating. This gas then builds up and ultimately has to find a way out. So some of it goes upward and comes out as a burp while the rest goes down and escapes in the form of a fart. Some farts are loud, some are silent, some are odorless, and others smell so stinky that we feel like leaving this planet. So, to save ourselves from embarrassing situations, we tend to hold in our farts many times. While it's okay to do so occasionally, Making a habit of holding in all your farts can have a severe impact on your health. Let's see how. You see, as you tighten your anal sphincter muscles to hold the gas, pressure starts to build up in your digestive system, leading to pain, bloating and even heartburn. Luckily, in most cases, your body deals with this buildup and releases the gas in the form of a loud burp. However, if the gas remains trapped in your body for an extended period, it can be absorbed into your bloodstream. From there, it travels to your lungs, where it mixes with the air you breathe in. And when you exhale or breathe out, you release that gas into the air around you. But in case your body fails to apply these mechanics, the increased pressure in your intestines can lead to the inflammation of small pouches called diverticula. This eventually leads to a condition called diverticulitis that can cause severe abdominal pain, fever and nausea which require medical treatment and, in some cases, even surgery. And in case you experience severe constipation or any other obstruction in your intestine, in rare cases, the accumulating gas can cause your colon to expand, almost like a balloon being inflated. Over time, this pressure can become so significant that it might force the colon wall to stretch beyond its usual limits and eventually rupture, spilling out the bacteria and stool into the abdominal cavity. While such extreme cases are very rare, they do emphasize the importance of taking care of our bodies. The best way to do this is by adopting healthy habits such as playing or exercising regularly, staying hydrated and eating fiber-rich foods. And if you find yourself in a situation where you can't release gas, try to excuse yourself discreetly when possible. Also, remember my friends, passing gas is a natural and normal bodily function. Everyone does it. If you find that you're experiencing frequent or severe gas troubles, it's a good idea to talk to a parent or guardian or see a doctor to rule out any underlying issues. Trivia time! Did you know, on average, people release 0.6 to 1.8 liters of intestinal gas every day? 
Also, the average spot travels at about 10 feet per second. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Adrit. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, as we learned, just let it go. Never mind. <laughs>